what makes Nikita Kucherov maybe a little bit unique or different from some of the other star players that you face in the NHL? Uh, yeah, I think you can, he can do it all offensively. Um, he can make plays, shoot the puck real well. Um, and he's a competitive guy, so uh, he really brings it all. And um, had a good game last night. And, uh, we really have to do a good job against him, especially if uh, they're trying to line match against my line there. Thanks, Stu. Next up is Guillaume Lafrancois. Hi, Nick. Um, where, uh, you know, further to that, but where do you draw to, to sort of fight back after a, a, a tough matchup like, like you had last night? Cup final, so um, we knew uh, we weren't going to win four games in a row. Um, the result could have been one nothing or 5-1, so it's still a loss. Uh, we move forward and I'm uh, just going to prepare for tomorrow. Thanks, Guillaume. Next up, Eric Engels. Nick, how do you personally process losses and, and in games where obviously, you know, you're, you're up against the line and they get the, the better end of you? How do you personally process that and find your own kind of look in the mirror moment to redeem yourself the next game out? Yeah, you know, as a line, we um, weren't happy with the result we got, but um, I thought as, as a unit, we created some good offensive chances, some unlucky bounces that didn't go our way. Um, so uh, we'll respond well. Um, we got great leaders to lean on, and uh, they're leading the way for us. Next up, Chantel McAvee. Thank you. Nick, what's the most difficult part playing against that Kucherov line? Uh, you know, they move the puck well. Um, they've been playing together for a while, so um, they make little plays to each other in tight. Um, all of them can make plays, shoot the puck well, uh, have a lot of speed. Um, I thought we handled them pretty well when we were getting hemmed in a little bit and then had some shifts. Uh, where we had them and so um, you just have to do a better job of cleaning up turnovers, uh, limit their time and space and uh, try our best to keep them off the score sheet. Next up, Stephen Wino. Hey Nick, uh, further to that, what do you guys as a line need to do better in terms of, of maybe not defending, but managing the puck better and, and kind of making those decisions when Tampa can, can line match like that and, and, and get the point line out there. What do you guys as a line have to do to kind of be more careful in your game while also getting offensive chances? Yeah, like you said, puck management, puck management is key. Um, had a few turnovers, um, me personally too. So um, just have to keep those down, um, be smart with the puck. I think once we get in the offensive zone, um, we can outwork them there. And then, um, yeah, it's just going to be key. To, it looks like they want to play against us the whole time. So um, we have to do a better job. Next is Jonathan Bernier. Thank you very much. Uh, Nick, uh, do you see any... Uh, Similarities, or can you can you uh, can you take the experience of round three uh, with you for 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 tomorrow and to to create a comeback against the Lightning? Yeah, I think um, we lost game one against Vegas and then came back with a real solid game. So um, it's a best of seven series, and uh, if we can get one on the road here, that'd be uh, big for us. But um, even if we don't. We still got the two home games to uh, play well. So um, tomorrow is going to be a big one for uh, confidence. And I think um, the guys will be ready to play. We'll take a few more for Nick. Next up, Tom Galitti. Nick, uh, is part of playing against point line, maybe you guys can make them work harder in their end as far as maybe, you know, make them defend and that can make your job easier. Is that easier said than done against with the way their D can, can play also handling the puck? Yeah, obviously that's our, our goal. Uh, as long as uh, they're defending, it's uh, tough for them to score, but 
Um, like you said, they play well uh, as a five-man unit out there. Uh, their, their D have so um, just trying to get an offensive zone for us is will be key and uh, to stopping them and um, when we don't uh, limiting their time and space. Next up is Arpan Basu. Uh, hey Nick, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you know, you've obviously fielded like a thousand questions on the matchup, but it, it strikes me, you know, you guys are, are are an offensive line. You want to create offense. And if you're being careful with the puck when you're out there against that line, are you able to really express what you can do offensively? If, if you know, it just seems to be a, a, a like an opposition there, like being careful and being offensive doesn't sound like they kind of mesh. How... How do you see that? Like, do you have, should you be adjusting your game to what your opponents are doing, or should you be really just trusting your own games and, and creating offensively? I think we have to trust our own game. Uh, there's moments in the game where, uh, as a line, we can use our skill and make the plays, but uh, you have to realize if you have uh, nothing really in front of you, uh, just to make a simple play, not to try uh, to make something out of nothing. So um, I think we got caught a couple of times doing that. And, um, but when we were making plays, uh, using each other, we had some good shifts in the offensive zone. So I uh, just need more of that. We'll take two more for Nick. Next is Matt Larkin. Hey, Nick, uh, it's a unique season in the sense that, you know, these are the defending champions, but you guys didn't get to play a hockey game against them until last night. So I'm curious, what, if anything, surprised you about the Lightning just facing defending champs? Nothing really surprising. Um, got to watch them a ton through the playoffs last year and, and uh, through those playoffs. Um, they're definitely, as advertised, they're a good team. I uh, move the puck real well, skate real well. So, um, I think uh, we just got a taste of what they bring to the table and uh, we just have to match that intensity, uh, match their compete. And uh, I think we can definitely play with these guys. So um, uh, our confidence should uh, And our last question comes from Mike Trakos. Hey, sorry there. Uh, it seems to be a lag. I don't know if it's on my end or uh, on your guys' end, but uh, yeah, just just further to that, you, you know, the Canadian strength these playoffs has just been able to learn and adapt from every opponent it's played. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering when you watch that tape uh, from last night's game, were there anything that you were able to pick apart? Um, that you guys can do better against Tampa? Um, or is it just a matter of, you know, just playing your game um, the way you guys were able to play it against Vegas um, that really holds the key to success? Yeah, I think this, this game is about adjustments. Um, we'll have a meeting later and see what we can do better. But I thought when we were executing, uh, we broke the puck out well, uh, had some good rush chances. Uh, good offensive zone chances. So, um, yeah, like I said, I thought some of the puck bounces didn't go our way last night, and uh, some of them went in our net. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll regroup uh, tonight, uh, see what we need to do better, and uh, go at it tomorrow.